You go with the proven commodity. Paul George is a proven commodity. Right. Lonzo Ball is not. We have hyped L Lonzo Ball into people thinking he's Magic Johnson or Isaiah Thomas coming out of the draft. He ain't that. He, had, he may prove to be something, but Paul George is a, con a consistent all-star who possibly could get even better. Paul George, it makes sense. I'm not sure I would give up the number two pick for Paul George, but getting Paul George is a ticket to get you LeBron James. Lonzo Ball, I'm not so How sure. How many players in the league are excited about watching Paul George this year? People haven't seen Lonzo Ball, and they can't wait. NBA players, GMs, Lonzo Ball hasn't played in the league and people can't wait to watch him play. You want those grass is greener guys. Huh? You think the grass <laughs> yeah. is greener? Is that because George doesn't have a dad saying he's better than Michael Jordan? No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, no, I mean, like... Paul George is a really good player who couldn't move the needle in the East. He took him to the Eastern Conference Finals. What Lonzo nice. Ball ain't won That was a diddly. few years ago. He I ain't thought, won diddly. I like Paul George, but like. you build around Lonzo. Because yes. Paul George is showing us. I agree. That was years ago when he led him to the Conference Finals. But lately, what is he showing you? As the best player on the team with a bunch of young guys, he's leading you to the seventh seed in the East. What's he going to do in the West? Lead you to the lottery? Listen. Get the man Lonzo. is an all-star performer. In the East. You know who else was the number two pick in the draft? Who? D'Angelo Russell. And he just got shipped with a bag of Doritos for nothing. <laughs> for this nothing. This is the thing. Lonzo, the number two pick is spec. Lonzo Ball has the chance to be transcendent. Yes. Paul, George, Paul George is a perennial all-star type player. Yeah. He's not transcendent. Let me pick up He's on the He's not that special. You Ball said, could be special. You said Lonzo Ball could be Jason Kidd on this show. Yes. You said he I could be Magic Johnson on this show. That he reminds you of Magic. Hey, hey, you know who's <laughs> running the Lakers? A point guard, Magic Johnson. You think he's not going to work with Lonzo Ball? Just a a little bit on making players better, making Ingram better. I definitely go Lonzo Ball. And I like Paul George a lot. I want to ask he's all cheaper, three of y'all this. He's younger. Uh, and, Can and you look. put your indie bias aside? No, yes, no, 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 no. This is just fact bias. You, all three of you are convinced Lonzo Ball is going to be a better NBA player than Paul George. I am convinced he'll be better for commerce. He's got an appeal beyond basketball, and he will elevate others. Yes. Absolutely. I, here's where I'm at, Jason. It depends on where your franchise is. If I'm the Clippers and I could get Lonzo Ball or Paul George, I'm taking Paul George. Yes. You're I'm close. just saying yes. with the Lakers situation where it's, it's a, basically a total rebuild, I got a bunch of young players around me, I would rather have Ball. And remember, at UCLA last year, they got four guys that are going to get drafted. That's all because of Lonzo Ball. Yep. TJ Leaf was a nice player. Lonzo elevated him. They went from 15 wins to 30. They were, a, they were an awful team in the Pac-12. Now they're must-watch. They were awful. They were a, I think they were a 6-13 and 13 team or something they're in the Pac-12. 15-17. and 17 Overall. Yeah. He doubled them. He set an attendance record. Come on now. The, and by the, the way, the draft is a crapshoot, man. D'Angelo Russell, just a couple of, Oh, can't wait to have him. He's going to be great. He wasn't like this kid, though. He was the number two pick in the draft. They just gave him away for nothing. That's how quickly things well, change. Well, technically, they gave him away to for clear nothing. up cap space to get LeBron. You're right. I mean, look, you're right. I'm not 100% sold that Lonzo's going to be this star that we think he is. I think he can, but his upside is that he can be transcendent, and that's it, just not what Chris, Chris also said. Different families, yeah, different ideals. For the Clippers, who have Chris Paul, I mean, they don't want to take risk. They got a new arena. Yep. They have a lame history. Paul George is a guarantee. Lakers have some history. There's more appeal. I can go either way. I'm going to roll the dice on the ceiling of Lonzo Ball because even if Lonzo isn't as great as I think, he is magic commerce for about three years. He, unless he's... By the way, remember the kid named White Chocolate, Jason Williams? Yeah. You know what? He's a bust. For three years, he was pretty interesting. He put him on the map. Lonzo Ball's better than that. That's, that's, so that's what the Lakers are driving. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we want pretty interesting at number two. I'm just saying. I want a guy that can put up numbers and be an effective player in the NBA. Paul George has proven that. Lonzo Ball may turn out to be great, but it's all spec.